So if you are a beginner, you might notice that whenever you watch a different character video, the whole method is completely different and you might get confused that which met method should I follow. So today I have this video for you guys where I showed you 10 ways we can make a character inside Blender. Each way have their own benefits and some of them are for beginners and some of them are for advanced. So today we are going to have a detailed look on these. And then after this, you can decide that which method is best for you and which method is your favorite. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first method that we have here is the box modeling. So it's a really common and old way of modeling a character, but it's still efficient for a lot of stuff. So in this method, we actually start from a simple object like cube, or it can be any other object like spare or a cylinder too. But the thing here is, is that we start from a really simple object and then we try to grow and add details on that. So sometimes we start from a cube and start from the head of the character, but sometimes we did from the torso also. So it doesn't matter, but the thing is that we start from a simple model like this, simple mesh that Blender provide. And after that, we add some more details to it. So this way is very sufficient and really good for game character models cause in game we need some low poly characters and if we follow some other methods there might be need some additional steps for it but if you do it with this box modeling um, it's really easy and really good way to do it cause we actually don't need to do some additional stuff it's just model up your character and then you you can just unwrap and texture your character and then you are done with that uh another benefit of this character is that it is also easy to actually create the right flow in it because you are actually modeling and you are also seeing that which uh, loops are good and which are not so similar to that it can be as i said it can be done from a um so same as I said, it can be done for from a cylinder also. So we can have a cylinder and we can do that. So this course is completely free and it's available at my YouTube channel. The link will be in the description. Also, all the videos that I mentioned in this video are in the description. So you can just check out from that. It's a free course where I start from a cylinder with this uh, box modeling method and then I grow it and then I did like the full uh, UV unwrap and then the texturing and then the rigging and all the stuff. So make sure to watch this uh, course if you were interested in this thing. So now going to the next method which, which is the edge modeling. So somehow it's similar to the box modeling but here we start it's also called a polygon modeling because we start from a single face and then we grow that. The difference from in this and the box modeling is that in the box modeling we actually start from a box that is that cover all the head and we are going to like simplify and add some loops and that shapes where in the edge modeling we actually start from a single face trying to just follow the topology and the right flow and then we try to merge and fill these so it's a bit different and this method is a bit more for like complex stuff and if you are more into animation thing and you want the accurate flow so it's a bit more easy to me to have to follow the uh, edge modeling method so a great example you can see from here uh, this video uh, is also in the description if you want to see the full video it's a full course and it's also free so you can just check that other than that uh, there is another really good mentor for it and that is the um, uh, Darian live I will put a link in the description for that it's he have a captain quark course that I also followed uh, four years ago and it's really helpful so uh, it's um, somehow like similar met method to the box modeling but just you start from a polygon and then you do all the topology and also you can add a subdivision modifier it doesn't matter it's completely up to you but if you are to make it a game character you must have to like not apply the subdivision thing and you just have to leave it, leave it as it is. So this was the uh, second and most efficient way. The third one is the geometry node. Now this is a really new method cause um, normally we don't get it. Uh, it is pretty new. Like in the latest blender, we get the geometry node. So there are very less tutorial for this one and it's really the complicated way to do it. So it's not really recommended from my side but some people are trying to create character with this one. And the best thing is that it's completely customized that 
with all the nodes you can just change the values and change the shape of it so it's really useful for some people but not recommended by me because it's taking too much time and uh, the geometry thing is complex for me okay the next method is the sculpting so sculpting is the um very famous method and it's like um from the starting like as we do the mud sculpting in real life so it's completely like that you pick up an object and apply some subdivisions and then you try to push and pull that to create your character shapes and everything so it's uh, really famous and the best mentor in the sculpting i would suggest is the yun sculpt also there are my own tutorials on this one so you can just check the channel for more videos and if you like you can hit a like until that and subscribe and after this we will go to the next one which is the skin modifier so skin modifier is basically a modifier in blender that comes so we start from a single vertex and we apply the skin modifier and then we extrude that and uh, with the skin modifier we can actually convert these single vertex into mesh like this and then there is a whole new method it's a whole new process i also done a lot of videos where i cover up um creating some basic mesh with it base mesh with it and also there are some more people who are actually creating some really complex things with this one so you can also consider that just search for skin modifier characters in youtube and you will get a bunch of videos where people show some really cool things with it uh the one i find uh online is this one uh, I will put a link in the description for this one. So it's really good method to, to me where like he actually explained every single steps like how to cover the hand with it, how to cover the torso with it. So everything is really well explained and yeah, this is going to be so cool. Okay, the next method is called mesh method. So it's really simple. The, the concept is simple that you have to just simply add meshes like basic meshes and you just have to like tweak it a bit. But although you just have to scale and uh, like push and pull with the scale thing and then you can actually get the result so it's a really good method for like creating simple characters where you are not going to be uh, in the animation and you are not going to be in that detail so for simple characters and renders this method is the best method because it's the most sim simple one and most easy one so yeah you can actually do that okay so here is the conclusion we actually done the box modeling edge modeling skin modeling sculpting and geometry nodes and mesh method these are the best methods that we have but with these all best methods we can actually have some more subcategory methods so these are the best methods but with these methods we can actually do some more things so <clears throat> that is the box modeling plus sculpting so we actually start from a box model that and then do the sculpting and same it is with edge modeling skin modeling and mesh modeling so all although we just join the sculpting thing with these things because these are good for creating the basic mesh and then like sculpting is good for having some more details so that's why uh it's a these are not exactly the the like new methods but this is the way of process people create characters so the method uh here in front of me is that uh as we see that a person create this character with the skin modifier it was a best mesh and now he's trying to sculpt this thing <clears throat> and trying to get a more detailed character with this one so it's a really good method that we actually use the first best methods to just have the best mesh but now we do the sculpting to have some really good muscle details and some really uh, a detailed character like this so you can uh, check this course it's a full course where he actually create this character from skin modifier and then he actually try to sculpt to create the whole details so this is now a, a way for having some a detailed character and uh, it's a bit time taking process but yeah the result is pretty much great and if you want to have a detailed game character or a detailed animation characters you can consider this way uh, the best thing is that the b modeling with the skin modifier can be really beneficial for a basic mesh and sculpting can be really beneficial for having details uh, the cons are that after this method uh, as we know it's sculpting so we have to retopo our character so we have to like remesh the thing because sculpting actually destroy the topology and the mesh so we have to like retopo and that thing so it does the process goes a bit long but definitely the, the results are precious and i would consider this way also to create characters for myself
Okay, so the next method is the mesh uh, method where we actually created uh, a whole character with this one. But this time I want to have some more details. So as you can see that it's my course, you can check in the link in the description. Uh, it's a paid course. Uh, there are some free tutorials so you can just check that. So in this method, I actually try to create the basic character with the uh, mesh method where I just put up the spares and that kind of stops to just have a block out of this. And after completing my block out, as you can see, I did the the ear and everything. Just I didn't add the details. So after this block out, I actually start um, sculpting. So I actually merge these all with some method and then I try to actually start sculpting to have some more details. So again, this is going to be a long method and it's not for like quick renders and that kind of stuff, but it's a proper method where you are getting a proper animated or a game character. So it's going to be a bit in details. Uh, the step by step course is available. You can check the link in the description. It's really good. It's one of my favorite thing and I use it cause uh, modeling creating a base block out with the mesh method is really easy for me and then adding details with sculpting is my fun so I actually use this method and a lot and at my studio where I create the game characters but after this thing we again have to retopo this thing and with the retopo again we have to unwrap and do the same process so it's again a bit uh, like lengthy process but you if you have time and the deadline line is not very short you can actually consider this method because we can get some really good result with this one so again we can do the same thing with the more method like we created a base mesh on geometry nodes and we actually then try to sculpt it or we can do the box modeling thing that first we do some box modeling and then we do go for sculpting so yeah it can be the whole process and i won't be showing you some more things because these are exactly the same thing that you just model the thing and then you try to sculpt it so hope you learn a lot from this video and hope this video is useful to you if it is hit a like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos and tell me in the comments that which method is your favorite and uh, if you have any questions according to this you can just ask in comment and i read all the comments so i will check that so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video for now bye